Now, I'm going to be tying, uh, this is a friend of mine who fishes, uh, basically it's a Dunkeld Thunder and Lightning Hairwing Fly, and he wants a Cascade version, uh, and this one I'm going to tie. This is the, the gold bodied version, uh, the, this is what I'd call the Dunkeld really. Um, fishes is spare a lot, and they likes a long wing, so the wing's probably twice the body length, and it gives it a nice balance. That's a gold bodied version. The only difference, really, in this one uh, is that it's got a black body. Uh, totally look, changes the look of the fly. Um, there's times where there's a wee bit of colour in the water and it lights the gold body. So, but this is the cascade version. And it's combining both that, that fly and giving it a cascade type tail. Now, the sizes I'm tying some size uh, basically sixes down, but this is a nice all round type size, uh, like the 10 or the 8. Uh, any of the two sizes would do. And we start off with a yellow thread just to keep, because I'm going to be using gold at the back. It just keeps things nice and bright at the back. So when we start maybe say about three, four mil from the eye, and start to wind down. We tie in some oval gold tinsel. This one here is number fourteen, or you could use a small. So we tie this on the way down. And stop it, but a tag length equivalent between the point, point of the hook and the barb. And then we form tag of the fly with four turns of the oval tinsel, bringing the tinsel between the hooks underneath. You can see there that tightens it up and locks it in. And then what we can do is then tie that down. Now I'm just going to tie this the length of the first part of the body, which is going to be there. Tail, as I say, is going to be yellow and orange, in this case bucktail. It's a nice bright hot orange, and a nice yellow. Uh, just not many fibres, don't, don't overdo it. Uh, it's could be quite sparse. So I'm going to get some of the yellow, some of the orange. There we are, I'm just going to blend them together to roll them within my fingers, just to mix them up. Now you can stack these if you want. I'm going to do that. Just going to put it into the stacker. Tips first. I don't know. Have to do both. Sometimes it depends on the quality of the the bucktail or how fine the tips are. This will bring them together. You can always slightly separate them. So they're lined up, and I can remove them from the stacker. It just brings the best of the the bucktail together. That looks okay. Length. Again, it's really up to yourself. Um, basically, Ireland they prefer a, normally they prefer a short tail. In the spay, they like a good tail in their flies, so a good couple of hook lengths. And then tie that on the top, a couple of turns, just to just to hold it. Now we quite look and see the, the length. Check everyone's okay. Uh, one or two fibers that I don't broken that I don't like. We tie in a couple of strands of crystal flash. In this case, this is just an orange. So I just tie these on top. The length of the tail. Pinch the loop. And then what I'm going to do is trim with the waist a tapered cut. Now you see the two strands of the pearl. I'm just going to leave them to the side, tie that in at the wing. There you go. Just make sure they say they're sitting the way you want. Now what I'm going to do is just quickly run the thread up. Come back down. Now in the way back down we tie in our oval tinsel again. For our rib. Now you could use wire here but I'm just going to use the oval tinsel. Put underneath, wind towards the tail. Share it up against the tag. Nothing's nice and tight. And we use a flat gold tinsel. This is a large. Like a uni miler or so. You get gold and silver. So it's actually the gold side I want. Which will represent the Dunkel colour of the body. Let's take this up. Let me start. A straight turn at the back, just work all the way up that point, and 
and we've done it in nice and tight. So we're halfway up. Just trim away that, just the area where I'm going to tie in the hackle. Now I'm going to put in a, quite a long hackle. I've got a, so just a, an Indian, a Chinese, sorry, neck, hen neck, dyed orange, a nice bright hot orange. Now, before I put this on, I'm going to obviously bring the rib up. It's nice and tight. Got to be tight when you're putting these on. So three to four turns. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that I've waxed the thread before I start it, so just in case, just at a point where I want to make sure everything's secure always best to put a wee bit of wax on your thread now that area is the area where I'm cutting everything off is where the hackle's going to be now it's, I've got one of the, it's a long, quite quite a long fibre plenty of movement at the back so tie it in by the tip good side of the hackle is facing myself or the front of the hackle and then now again it's up to yourself how many turns now I'm going to only put a couple of turns in here that's fine follow it up with the thread put a 90 degree bend into the stem and then we can tie this down now I'm going to trim it the length of the body which is there there is an odd fibre left as you can see, but I normally just throw these back. It's not going to make any difference to the fly, just take them back. And then I'm going to take the thread up. I'm going to change the black, just a uni black, uni 80 in black. So that's the yellow used for the back to keep everything nice and bright and clean. Start to come down. Take come over your tying thread, the yellow, remove the waste piece and that piece being the black and again the way down tie in the rib it's easier to tie something in the way back down to a point where you want it to start then try to fiddle in get it to start where you want bring the thread right up in this case to the hackle make sure it's neat get a black floss just a rayon floss or a uni floss Tie that in the way back up, and then a nice start. Take your time, there's a good wee fibre there catching the hackle fibres, just take them back, and then we just work our way up. Give yourself room for your wing, in this case, it's going to be a throat. Just returns to secure. Trim that away. Now I'm just going to wax my thread. Put down a layer of thread. Just come up a mill or two, and then we bring the rib up. Again, you just could be three, four turns. Secure this in. Trim away the waste. See how things are sitting. That looks okay. Now the wing and the throat, the throat, the fly. The throat, the fly could be guinea fowl dyed blue. It could be uh, blue jay. It's up to yourself. Uh, it could be you could tie in another hackle, but the, the top end here, I'm just going to put a throat hackle, uh, a wing. In this case, it's going to be we've got some dyed brown bucktail. Now this is the back of the bucktail. It's a Finer fibre. If I show you an actual bucktail, it's a white one, hasn't been dyed. On the back, you've got this brown. And I'm going to show you another pattern here. I've got a light winged, in this case, thunder, which works really well. And this is what I use here. So when you go to darko, obviously, when you dye it uh, a dark brown, you, you get this colour. But you want to use the soft hair at the back here, this nice fibre. Yeah, I'm just going to bring it out. You could use whatever hair you have, it's just, I've always used the bucktail in this fly. I'm just going to take away any under fur, you've got to take that away, because I'm going to stack it. Then I'm going to go towards the tips and take the longer ones and bring them in, to make it easier. So what I then do is, I put it into the stacker, and then tap it on my desk. Now, before I do that, I'm just going to put 
a bit of flash under the wing. Now this is the same flash but in the tail of a strand here that's a perfect length, it's about two inches or so in length. You catch it down, fold this back, just to show you a bit of flash under the wing. And then what I'm going to do is get some guinea fill and you can wind the hackle, now you can wind it on or you can actually put it as a safer on as a false hackle. It's up to yourself. I'm just going to put like a false hackle or a bear tackle, whatever you want to call it. So remove the fluff and then I'm just going to bring these fibres 90 degrees out from the stem and that should line up the tips for you and then you can tear it away. And what I'd like to do, I like to roll it within my fingers. Now you can turn it upside down, get the length that you want. It can be as long as you want or as short as you want. So up to your cell, it will still work. Just catch it underneath. Just going to do that so you can see. Now you can spread the fibre a wee bit. Just use your nail, keeping hold of the thread. Keep it nice and tight. And then tighten up on that. Trim away your waist. Again, get my wax on my thread, tidy that area up, get my wing, that's ready, stacked in my, in my stack, I'm just checking, the hair's okay, I want to stack it again, there is one or two fibres, not quite there yet, so I'm just going to go back to tapping it on my desk, that wing is fine, I'm happy with that. The length, just basically halfway in to the tail or less. So we're happy with the length of the, the wing we want. And then what I like to do is trim away. Again, make sure your wax on your thread. Come in. There's the cut ends. I'll try and keep my fingers out of the way so you can see. And I'm taking tons of thread into the cut ends. Get them to sit. Let me check and see how they're sitting. Sometimes it rolls with, rolls with a turn, so you may have to bring them back up. I'm looking to see how the fibres are sitting. Now that, as I say, there's wax on the thread, there's plenty of grip. There's an odd fibre there that's just too long and into the eye, so I'm trimming them away. And then we're happy. What we can then do is tighten up. Nice and tight. Now, two jungle cock eyes. Can be small to large, it's up to yourself. Yeah, just nice size. Nice size here, which I feel will suit the fly. Just lining them up, holding the jungle cock eyes with my finger and thumb, drawing back what I don't want. Get come in, sit and up into the wing. Go two or three turns. Just the position at this point, you can. Move them around, see how they're sitting. If you want to further up into the wing, on my side I need to do that, so I'm just lifting it up. Look from the top down. I'm going to go back because that's just slightly too short on my side, so I'm just going to come in again to see it. Go back if you're not happy. Once you're happy, and I am now, I can then tighten up to three or four more turns. Come down a bit and then fold back the waist ends of the jungle cock, thread to the front. Now I'm just going to put some wax on my thread and then work my way up, tying over the waist ends, forming a nice head. Just take your time when you're doing that, get a nice shape in your head, position it. Now, what I'm going to do is hold the thread tight and then you can break away the waist ends straight in. Now I'm always keeping the thread tight when I'm doing that, don't let the thread go. And we fit flat finish. It's an odd wee fibre here I don't like so I'm just going to trim it away. On your side there's a couple there as well. At least these are the fine fibres sometimes it comes off the folding back the jungle cock. You can just take them out. If they're covered in the eye especially, if they're not just leave them. Quite a look, bring out 
it's fine wasn't it? It's a good colour combination that. Now what I'm going to do here for speed, I'm just going to touch the head with some super glue. Now this is a full mill super glue, it comes with a brush so it's very easy to apply. Now I, I do taper the brush. I use a Stanley blade and I cut it in at an angle so it tapers. It's much easier to apply then. And once, don't touch any of the fibres. Allow that to dry and that'll take three or four minutes to dry. And then two coats of varnish and you'll have as bright a head as that. Nice and bright. And there we are. That's your Dunkeld Thunder type cascade as I say. It's a good pattern, it's a colour combination, you can't go wrong. You, you'll see that colour in a lot of flies, so I hope we enjoyed that. <laughs>